Hi, I'm ML7. We've taken a look at the changes for Season 9 and they're pretty massive. First, let's talk about the changes to the core gameplay. They were designed with four major goals behind them. Make shooting feel better and more consistent, reduce the effectiveness of burst damage, lower some of the added healing pressure that comes from the increase in health pools and more landed shots, and find a way to cut to sustain during teamfights. Most damage dealing hitscan and projectile radiuses have been increased. This means that shooting in Overwatch will feel more consistent and rewarding. This is a huge update to the core gameplay as it opens up new strategies because the breakpoints have changed. For example, if before this season it took Kiriko's two headshots to eliminate a Soldier 76, now it's gonna take them two headshots and a body shot to get the job done and get a reaction. There will be a lot of experimenting in this season, but I feel like heroes that have abilities or ultimates that do damage based on percentages of the enemy's health bar will probably be pretty strong alongside with heroes that can deny enemy abilities. There is a new global health regeneration passive. After 5 seconds of not taking damage on DPS and tank heroes and 2.5 seconds for support heroes, they will regenerate 20 HP per second. Now, I think that this will result in Genji spamming a little bit less of I need healing in game, but I think I might be too optimistic. I need healing. Damage heroes disrupt enemy healing received by 20% for 2 seconds. There is no minimum damage requirement to activate the passive, which means that, in theory, you can have the entire enemy team affected by it. Imagine playing heroes like Mei when everybody from the enemy team is grouped up in front of you. The passive doesn't stack as it's capped at 20%, but you can refresh its duration. A ton of fresh changes and there's no way of knowing how the meta will be, but innovating and finding the best strategy should give you an upper hand and help you win more games. Hello, I'm SK. I play Overwatch way too much and I'm here to tell you about the Season 9 competitive rework. First off, the card system is gone. Instead, you're going to see your rank update after every game and you'll see exactly how much you won or lost. Also gone is the confusion. Why have I won more games than I've lost but I'm lower than where I started? It doesn't make any sense. Well now, if you take a look at the green or red arrows below your updated rank after a game, it'll tell you exactly why you've gained or lost more than usual. For example, maybe you're on a huge win streak. That means you'll get a little more rank for winning than you usually would and it's going to show you with a green arrow right below. Top players also have something to grind for. There's a new rank above Grandmasters called Champion, ranging from Champ 5 through Champ 1, with Champ 1 being so high rated that we might not even see anyone hit it this season. If there's one thing you absolutely need to know, it's that ranks are going to be soft reset. For your first 10 matches of the season, you'll be in placements, and winning or losing can give you huge gains and losses. Winning comp games in Season 9 will also give us a new currency that we can use to buy Jade weapons. We'll only be able to earn the currency for a year, after that, all the points will turn into gold weapons. Okay, bye.